Oh, Judy, would you be going ashore here in Suez? No. Why? Oh, it's a fascinating city. I'd like to show you around it, really. Some other time, huh? So, obviously, this is not your final destination. No, no. Where are you going to from here, if I may ask? Uh, around the world. <laughs> In 80 days. <laughs> a wager of uh, some kind. A wager? You're sure there's not more to it than that? What do you mean? No, I don't mean anything. There's just some marvellous shops here. You know, if there's anything you want to buy, I'd help you. Shots. Uh, we need more shirts. Shirts? We left so quickly. Didn't bring anything but a carpet bag. Oh, you left in a hurry, did you? How long have you been in the service of the gentleman, if I may ask? Only a few days. He's a very wealthy gentleman, isn't he? It is not for me to inquire that of Mr. Fogg, monsieur, if you will excuse me. Oh, dear God, it's her. There's no question. No question about it. What? It's... Madame Sarah Bernhardt. Good heaven. She's not coming in here. A woman in the reform club. She wouldn't dare. Is that a woman? Excuse me, madam. Bonjour, monsieur. How thrilling it is to be here among such distinguished company. <coughs> And so I thought you should know that I was fortunate enough to spend many, many bewitching hours with your brave Mr. Falk in my stateroom on the channel boat. We shared moments I shall never forget. He begged me to go around the world with him, but um, my schedule simply would not permit. Madame, do you think he will succeed? Oh, gentlemen, I have never known a man with more determination than Phileas Fogg. I call him Phileas. I am convinced uh, that absolutely nothing will stand in his way. And that is why I am here, to place I'll wager 20,000 pounds. But, but, madame, that will change the present odds considerably. My confidence is unshakable. Any man who is capable of entering a woman's chamber and then not... <coughs> Gentlemen, a toast to my adorable... Enchanting Phileas Fogg. <laughs> So, you don't intend to stay here in Bombay? No, we're leaving straight away for the rail station. Uh, our cut express leaves in, uh, let me see, uh, oh, 42 minutes. Hi, George, I'm taking the same train. Shall we share a cab? Splendid, splendid idea. Let's wait now, don't Yeah. Well, have you looked everywhere? Well? Are you absolutely positive? We have nothing. As I told you, I sent them a... A, a wire from Suez. And I'm telling you, no warrant was sent to this department. Well, then issue one. On whose authority? On my authority. Refused. Can't you understand plain English? He's at the railway station at this moment. I must... Uh, I must have a warrant. If and when this warrant arrives in Bombay, we shall be happy to assist you. It'll be too late. L.A. 
tea, whatever it is. Look, I've come such a long way for this. I've got so close. Oh, my condolences. I say, what's the meaning of this? Why are we stopped? End of the line. Here, in the middle of nowhere. We still have 50 miles of track to lay down between here and Allahabad, where the line begins again. You will have to find your own transportation to Allahabad. Really? How curious. They call this train the Calcutta Express? It will be, Sahab, when the track is put in. No, 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 get away, get away. Did you touch it? No. Charlie, the Tuggy goddess of death. They say it brings one frightfully bad luck. Tuggy? Yes, we're entering Tuggy country now. They used to strangle their victims in honor of the goddess. Good heavens. Not anymore, I trust. No, the British government put a stop to it. Thank heavens. Pass for two? Isn't he beautiful? His name is Kiyuni. He's not for hire, but you can buy him for only six pounds. And they will throw in the guide for nothing. Buy him? Buy him? What on earth would I do with an Indian elephant? Ridiculous. <laughs> 